there seem to be lots of recurring themes throughout um, today. How do we talk to each other? That was one. When we do find each other and we talk to each other, how do we actually work together? That's, a, that's, that's another one. Um, users, how do we get users? Where are they? How do we prod them with sticks to tell them to tell, them to tell us stuff? Uh, designing for everybody. You know, everybody's going to be old in now. Uh, so we need to, be, to make things accessible for everybody. We're all going to have crap eyesight in 20 years. We're all going to be walking like this because we're older. Um, open source design, is it a thing? Not yet. Not yet. Good. Uh, keep that. <laughs> and then talk. Uh, I mean, you know, there's lots of stuff here that um, you don't want to hear me talking. I want to hear you talking because there's lots of questions being asked. So the first things was, how do we communicate design-related work? Um, and I'm not going to um, sort of go through each talk because that would take a long, long time. So um, it kept on coming up, build a design team. So create a channel for design-related discussion. And that could be IRC, or it could be, as the lady said, or preferably not IRC. That's why it did say question. Um, or maybe Slack. So I think that says we need to find tools that work for your community. Uh, there's no point in saying we have to use IRC because some people will, some people won't. Um, and instead of you keep, uh, instead of me keeping in on talking, how possible is it to get everyone on Slack or get everyone on IRC or bridging stuff? I know you can bridge from Slack into IRC. I've seen that as as a feature, which I think is really useful. Um, so a question for you: How do your projects communicate? It's Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I would argue that you don't need to use it to browse it. I'd rather really use it as fit for purpose than to make it because it's oh. I mean you can just follow the link and chat on it in the interface RC room. All you do is type in your your link. But then you don't get scroll back, which Slack does give you But I mean so the reason we brought up Slack earlier was for getting users involved. And now we're not talking about getting users. Sorry, involved, that's getting well. The, there was a discussion about sort of you know designers over here, developers over here, yeah. and how do we get them together? Mm -hmm. So, I, as a designer, I know I use uh, Slack because lots of other designers use it. I also use IRC because I know how to use IRC and I'm and I'm comfortable with IRC. I think it's more. A, and you're totally right. Why would you build an open source project on a closed platform? But I'm going to throw back and say. If that's where users are, or if that's where developers are, and if you want developers, okay, philosophically you're right, but we need to come up with a good thing, or, or we need to find a good thing. Yeah, mm. I think the meeting in person works best, especially if you organize a hackfest or something, Yeah. And, and you invite a designer or some kind of specialist in the field to inspire people, and then um, maybe uh, introduce um, some topics, like you could have a whiteboard where everybody can put um, put on post-its with post the topics they think they're most yep. interested, yep. and then vote on them, have yep. them pitch their, their ideas, and then you know talk about them, get people to work together in groups, and try to fix something on the spot or yep. something. Yep. That won't fix your issues, won't, won't give you a final result, but the people will but, know each other, yep. and they can decide on what tools they will use to communicate. That's I was really glad, sorry, yeah, I was really glad to hear, um, who was it that said it, I don't know who it was, you know, meet in person. <laughs> conferences like FOSTEM, conferences like any other technical thing. And uh, I think that's one of the really good th um, things of this year's FOSTEM, that they actually, for whatever reason, said, okay, we want design to be spoken about. You know, there was a whole room of designers in here earlier on with developers, you know, meet in, meet in Social, as Pablo said, you know, drink beer or your beverage of choice, whatever. That's how stuff happens. Yes? Okay, one thing about IRC is that I prefer to have only one uh, program to use. And if I go for my project on IRC, I prefer also to go to design discussion on IRC. Regarding the 
meet in person is very nice, but for example, I come from Romania, and if I know that you all guys are going to meet in person, you're going to know each other very, very better. And instead of being inclusive, you're going just to small, uh, form a small group, and that's not the purpose. The purpose of IRC is to... That's also true. That's also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to... Yeah. Yep. As a concept, yep. the name is a project or the people or the conferences. Yep. So it's, it's hard to get, let's say, people to come to this conference because they don't even know what the whole topic is. And that's one thing that I think us as open source um, um, designers have to go to where the designers are. So UXPA, IXDA. Even, I'm even the techies going to meetups that are designer meetups because you actually end up in some amazing conversations. Absolutely. Yep, totally. we also had uh, the topics is that generally uh, open source projects are a bit reluctant or at least skeptic about design changes right and so if we're starting by uh, trying to introduce a new tool like slack uh, in the process uh, it seems so um, so preposterous uh, to, to start out with that so um, I think like trying to use IRC is a small hurdle compared to yeah. Uh, what it would be to, to switch the whole project to yep. Slack, which would kind of be, yep. uh, I don't know, yep. totally yep. overblown. It, it would be a big hurdle for people who are already involved. People who aren't involved yet, there's no hurdle, right? They're not switching from anything. Okay, so the, there's there's discussion to, to be had still, and, 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 and that's, you know, um, it was really good to, to see Jan talking about that they have two or three hours of Google Hangouts, you know, actually talking. Okay, it's not in person, but it's... Um, you know, uh, drinking beer and meeting people, really important conferences. Okay, so once you, ha once you have actually found designers to, to work on your project or developers to work with you, how do you, um, how do you collaborate? So one of the things that kept on coming up that designers come to a project and go, great, I want to get involved. Okay, GitHub, yeah, repo, clone, okay, um, shit. Um, what do I do? So there's no clear, sort of easy path for collaboration, you know, sorry, for, for, for contributions. Um, people who are interested in, computing, in contributing don't know where to start. Um, ah, I forgot to finish off this line. Andrew Williamson, from, from a talk that I um, saw yesterday, kind of brought up a point which was kind of conf uh, um, confrontational, that the, the focus on technical uh, and sort of meritocracy and and technical meritocracy in open source is clearly defined. You know, you commit, you know, a bajillion lines of code, you're fucking awesome, or you fix 10,000 bugs, you're brilliant. You create 50,000 wireframes, or you do 67 hours of usability tests. I don't see any, I don't see any, any lines. Yeah. Yeah. That most open source projects use, which is committing code. And a lot of people in the developer community can't. I had to learn. They, I yeah, went through a process of learning GitHub and start putting <laughs> patches as a way of getting that kind of. So I think the best way to overcome that is to uh, be involved and show potential. In many projects, you will find that there are no designers coming. <laughs> yeah. So you dangle the carrot of something, and they go, "Oh, oh, I like that." Yeah. And you, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. It's, maybe it's impossible, like, like I did on in diaspora. My first attempt was, but I, I did it on purpose. I, I, I did yeah. Really you seem like a slightly uh, you know confrontational person, which is really good, <laughs> in in a good sense. I to just like start the conversation. It, it, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, because it's like um, I really like that approach, like from a design perspective, because um, that's the only way, let's say, in my head, uh, I see how to approach, let's say, development problems. That I'm a designer, so I will redesign uh, your web 
that side to the side to make it uh, more user friendly uh, and then I'll wait for feedback. But when I know that you're a developer, but it's like when the feedback came back, did you feel very, uh, I don't know, hurted by the feedback in the terms of, oh my yeah, god, I'm actually that shit, they didn't like it. Yeah. But you, you can find, you, you have to relax that. So that's yes. Yeah, so, sorry, it's 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 really small. It it's ever not. I, I I don't have to. I don't have to change it. But that's a good thing that you said. You know. So I d I redesigned something, and the first answer is well, why? So maybe what we have to do is give them our design rationale, our design reasons. Yeah. So the reason I changed this was because I tested it with two people and nobody was able to find it. Yeah. I, I yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. And how do you, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on. Really to get uh, designers involved in the project, man, and it's all like really heavy kind of academic developers, and they don't really value the design aspect of it, so we're trying to find a, a way in for them. But we have a few things that are like very obvious problems that people realize when they start like making t shirts or printing things like the kind of never <laughs> things like that. And even, you know, like, that's something I can tell them, like, hey, you know, a designer could help us here. But I don't know, is there any way I can ask and find a designer to answer that one? I, mean, I don't know if that's like a really difficult problem or if it's like totally simple. I have no idea. I don't think that's a difficult problem. Those are very simple problems. But it's this, that's the thing. Um, um, what I find hard, let's say, is like you guys communicate in specific uh, channels. Uh, designers, uh, they don't really have that specific channel. So we either know each other through Twitter. Um, that's how we chat, or I don't know, comment on projects on Behance. Behance is the, the main Behance. It's like oh. B E H A C E dot com. So that's the main page where people actually submit their work, and there is a discussion in there um, going on. So you can find designers and approach them uh, to their. <coughs> because when, like, if I open the ticket in your GitHub tracker and mark it as design, yeah. maybe designers would never stumble across that. Well, but that's. It, it's good that you brought that up because that was again um, something that, that Jan said at, and it kept on coming up, you know, even if it's going to be as simple as just um, in your bug tracker tool, you know, open a problem and put design or maybe even put UI or even put UX, something that is, you know, clear that it's, it's for design. Um, yeah. This won't be useful right off the bat, out of the box, probably. Kind of the, the job board or combine it with the yeah. job board idea that yeah. just like we could say, just hey, surface the work on, on yeah. like GitHub, Guitarists, whatever. What's that? Just, just check out like all the. Okay. Like, so um, I've got one minute to go through. Um, another thing that um, about users. So Roy m made it very clear that, you know, they did two, two uh, usability, usability testing. Um, phases on Drupal and it surfaced loads of problems that the, the project lead said we're doing nothing else until until these are fixed. So having having usability testing, user research is really important. How can you design for people if you don't know what those people are in in, 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 in broad strokes, you know? User research is so important. And there's a whole bunch of different problems. Well how do I get them? They're all over the world. Okay, but at least, you know, kind of understand the need for it. There are different kinds of users. There are very there's lots of sensitivities, but you know, be aware of 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 of, of the importance of it. Um, yeah, um, I wanted to get to these two things. So, where do you find designers in open source for open source projects? There's designers here and, and there's developers here. Where do designers hang out? Oh. Oh, yeah. Pub. <laughs> okay, that's good. I know 
lot of designers who are not just focused on money. And there's a lot of technologies that, um, let's say, they've got expertise in, but uh, corporations just say that, oh, you're too junior or you're too senior, I can't pay you that much money. And sometimes it's genuinely not about money, it's about cost. And there's lots of designers who, um, who design for making things better uh, rather than you know, new iPads or something. Yeah. But then, I mean, like, how do you get them involved in a way that it's, like, how do you get them to know you of your projects? How do, how do you get them started? It's, it's not, it's That's not about, hard. Like, This is something that I'm trying. Yeah. It's like, is there any sort of platform that will be easy to communicate in between these two? So that would be kind of the, like, the thing that has been coming up. Like I think we, so I'm going to suggest a thing. We already have a platform. It's called Meeting in Person, right? And it's developers, like somebody up there said, developers, going to um, design meetups, so if that's UXPA, IXDA, those kind of things, and saying, hi, I'd like to, to, to talk to you about open source projects. Not in a super heavy technical way, but in, in a more philosophical way. Do you want to get involved? Uh, and offer free beer. Yes, yes. Yeah. Nobody came to talk about their project and introduce it to designers. Well, we'd like to do that if, if still possible, but... Uh, yes, yes yeah, definitely. Five minutes are four, so go for it. Definitely. Can I just use your... Laptop? Yes, sure, sure, sure. And, and as, as we're... Did we create a great platform? Maybe we can start with yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. And the first one. As, <laughs> as we're getting that ready, I mean, maybe this is, this is a really good example of how to do it. So, you know... A guy working or a girl working on an open source project goes to the UXPA, the User Professionals um, User Experience Professionals Association, and says, "I'd like to pitch you my project. I'd like to get somebody involved and come and drink beer afterwards." So I'll hand over to to Bram. Bram. Yes, I think um, I don't know whether it did sound, but. Uh, I think the website of our project already pretty much makes it clear that we could use a designer. The logo is 12 years old and um, the, what the platform is or what the project is all about is that it's a very kind of specialized web content management system used in academia to give open access to um, research outputs mainly. So it's being used by about a thousand uh, universities worldwide but also by organizations like the United Nations and the World Bank. So in the most recent development cycle, we actually implemented a whole new theme based on Bootstrap, but we did it without affecting the UX. So I, actually we kept everything pretty much in place to make sure that we didn't upset anybody. But we could use uh, some designers to come in there and to, uh, to s uh, fix some of the problems uh, that we have. We would be open uh, for discussion there. Um, so on dspace.org, there's a link about getting started. Um, there's a mailing list. Uh, there's a bug tracker. There, uh, there are different ways. Um, one of the things for pretty much for developers, but also for the UX community, we're trying to use more and more uh, discussions on Stack Overflow because they're more persistent there and they have a pretty powerful tagging system. But we haven't been leveraging the UX community on, on Stack Overflow just yet, but we'd like to do that at, uh, at some point. Exactly, or or talk to us and uh, and, and we'll get started. Hi, I'm Ashish. Uh, I work on a project called Sandstorm, which is a way to host web apps on your personal server easily and safely. But I'm going to talk to you about a different project right now called OpenHatch, which I've used to work on in the past, and I still do, uh, just less so. OpenHatch is a website 
intended to help people learn how they can get involved in open source. And we have a whole bunch of contributors who are working on this code. Uh, I guess it's enormous. Um, one thing that people mentioned is the idea of a job board for design. And we have this button you can click uh, labeled find a project. And if you want to get involved in an open source project, and if you're like me when I originally designed this UI five years ago, you think, great. What people want to know is what language are bugs for the project in? And uh, what, uh, is it an easy bug? Or is it just a, not a regular bug that hasn't been labeled by the project as, as easy? But it turns out there are other ways you can contribute to projects, like doing design work, like writing documentation. Uh, and maybe you want to know what the project is more than you want to know exactly uh, which easy Python task you could look at uh, in a, this vaguely, this, this UI uh, gives you no context as to what the project is. I mean, when I designed this, I made it with me in mind, and I know what every single project on the site is, but I bet most of you don't. Uh, so we, OpenHatch, would love design help. Um, we have a whole bunch of contributors at all levels of Python and web experience, and so you won't feel like you're the only one who doesn't know how to do something kind of very technical and complicated. Um, the way to get in contact with us is, probably the best way is via this contact link. What do you say? <laughs> Look, man, that's why I'm bringing this up. Uh, it didn't occur to me that, okay, so the, <laughs> the best way is this hello at openhatch.org email address which is fr available from contact us. Whatever, you just go to the site and you, you do command F for contact and you follow the link. <laughs> so, uh, so that's open hatch. I can answer questions afterwards, I guess. Thanks. Anybody else? I mean, actually, uh, open hatch would be that kind of job. Yeah. yeah. So, so you could have like a design thing instead of design. Yes. Better and add that functionality yeah. for what people are looking for. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, I'm from a, a distribution Linux. Linux. Uh, this Linux distribution, which uh, grew out of an academic project, and it has kind of these great uh, mathematical research ideas to make a really reliable system that you can have, like. Uh, rollbacks to well-known states and you can easily tweak and modify any package and uh, have a great amount of variability and things like that. So the hackers who are into it love it, but uh, the main core don't really understand or they're, they're not really convinced of the value of, of the design so much. I really like the logo actually, it's these lambdas and it looks, uh, I, I think it's nice, but um, yeah, this is one of the problems. The colors always look different. So it's like a little bit uh, red, so it looks totally purple on some screens and if you print it is like totally uh, you, very unpredictable. And so I tried to start off, uh, in, there's a wiki, and I tried to start off uh, um, just by reading articles on um, uh, style guides and stuff, just to kind of, I, I thought maybe if I start uh, a style guide myself, not knowing anything about design, hopefully somebody who actually knows will come in and say, this is all wrong, can you, uh, you know, it could maybe help out like that. So that would be an awesome thing if uh, someone could uh, jump in. Can, oh. Yeah, I, I thought maybe a, like a style guide would be a start, and I'd, like pick a font. Or, like the, the the font is also like anybody uses whatever font they feel like on the day, and it's like totally inconsistent. Um, if I could, I'll just try to put up the yeah, style guide. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. What's your name again? Uh, Killian. Killian. And how um, can we can we contact you? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can give you the details after. We have a mailing list, and there's the wiki, and we have an IRC channel. And I, I'm, I'm just really wor worried if a designer steps up and says, "Oh, I can help," and the, everyone's going to go, "Oh, you know." The, the general action, reaction is like, "We have more important bugs to solve, like adding support for some random thing," you know. And um, 
but I think it would be, uh, it's not a very well-known project, and I think it would be really cool if people, more people knew about it, but I think for anyone to go to the website and just have a look, I, I don't think it's very clear what it's about at all. I don't, I don't think it's, it, uh, I don't think you can tell by glancing at it what it is, or even if you re start reading the documentation, you kind of need someone to sit down beside you and say, oh, you have to use this, and it has tended to, like, it caught on purely by word of mouth, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I will accept it. I, you can, you can, uh, I can be your, your shadow publisher and I can take all the flack and then you can... But, but I, I mean, I, I think it might be an interesting project because it's like such a fresh uh, field and I think it wouldn't take much to convince people that you actually know what you're on about and you could totally brand it and, you know, this could be, I don't know, I, maybe that's an attractive thing for designers. You can get your name yep. on it and, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.